how does it look like being in a newsroom um yeah. you know during elections it was hard it was, mm-hmm. it was tough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was so tough. Mm-hmm. And I remember I actually didn't even get to vote mm-hmm. in 207. Mm-hmm. And no I, time? Or? Th- we were given time. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were given, uh, we were even given special passes. But I mm-hmm. think someone took away my, pinched my special pass. Mm-hmm. So by the time I'm going to vote, mm-hmm. I was I was at registered in Langata. Mm-hmm. Because I mean, that's where I lived. Mm-hmm. Um, I it was such a mess i remember mm. how election day in 2007 mm. looked like mm. by the time people are actually started voting it was much later mm. people it was that year i remember mm. when Raila Odinga, he went to vote in one of the stations in kibera mm. he couldn't even find mm. his name in the mm. register mm. <laughs> you know mm. you know so mm. it was so confusing and mm. then here i am thinking i need to be at work at 1 pm mm. i've Every gone day. there at 6 am mm. My time is already up. I just said mm. it's okay. Mm. I, I felt bad that I wasn't mm. able to register, mm. you know, to my vote. vote mm. But I said it's okay. Mm. Let me go and now report mm. on the mm. elections because mm. it was it was a it was a very confusing day. Mm. So we start reporting the election results. Mm. Start streaming in, mm. you know that yeah on the that was the first day, mm. second day, mm. you know. And I remember by the not the first night but the second night when the results are still streaming in. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ele- nation had invested in this system mm-hmm. where we were people were able to key in their correspondence across the country mm-hmm. in the different mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. polling stations mm-hmm. where they were able to when then the results are announced mm-hmm. they key in mm-hmm. so wherever i am i mean mm-hmm. at the at the newsroom mm-hmm. i can click in You're and see in the newsroom yes itself, yeah. yes because i was announcing yeah. i mean i was taking i was seeing the results coming yeah. in and were yeah. announcing at every other yeah. you know yeah. every other 30 minutes we are mm-hmm. giving fresh results we're mm-hmm. giving fresh results so mm-hmm. i was just clicking in mm-hmm. and we go and announce mm-hmm. um so it, 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 it was easy because we're also tallying. Mm. It, was a, mm. it was an attempt to tally. Mm. Mm. And then at some point, the system crashes. <laughs> Wait, so which, one, which system crashes? The, our system, the nation the system. system. Yes, crashes. so we are there. We've been relying on this system mm. to, to get results, you know, real-time mm. results as they are reporting them on the ground. Mm. The correspondents are keying them in. Mm. And, and we are now picking those results and saying, from this polling station, these are the results, you know. But then at some point, this system crashes you know and you're not able to now see what's coming out what's coming out you know and uh then all of a sudden there's just tension in the newsroom you know uh, and we're told no stop the live reportings everyone stop the live reporting at the tv um uh, studio that told stop the live reporting uh radio i remember i was the one who i was i was on shift and they told stop stop the live reporting you'll be informed what you know um what you what 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 you'll be given the results and then I think it was a night where people said they slept and they woke up and the results had changed and there was a gap, a big gap between uh, Mwai Kibaki and Raila Odinga. So you particularly were on air? Yes, as in we were preparing to go. You know, we were reporting, we were reading the news every other, we were giving the results every other 30 minutes. And you were on shift? I was on shift. Yeah, so meaning being on shift is after 30 minutes or so you would, you know... uh, go on air yes. announce and give the fresh results yeah, that you say, have the tally this is a yeah. current tally Raila Odinga as is uh, and, and you and do Bobos, that for national Mwai Kibaki, and probably Kalonzo. also for yes and also for the parliamentary for the, the, the parliamentary. focus was of I mean the only three Obviously. seats then it was just yeah. it was just presidential yeah. um, uh, and, uh, national assembly yeah. and then of course the civic the yeah. civic seats yeah. so we're not focusing on the civic seats on it was seat. more or less the, the MP the, the parliamentary results yeah. and, the, and the presidential should announce and then I at some point you're told now i mean this we're this, told to stop stop yeah. stop stop the live reporting yeah yeah stop the live reporting yeah you'll be instructed by yeah. your editors uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm curious just so did you, did you go home or i actually you... being at some point i mean i we, i went home yeah i went home because now even my shift had ended i hung out for a bit yeah i went home and, and yeah. like everyone else i woke yeah. up you look at the it's, news, it's, you look at the it's, TV yeah. news, I mean, for the stations that continued to, you know, that were still yeah. live, you know, reporting. Yeah. And, and, and But even just tracking, tracking the, yeah. the now the information that was yeah. coming, because we're told to now report what's coming from the Electoral Commission of Kenya, yeah. from KCC, this, yeah. the, the, yeah. the, 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 the National Tallying Center mm. at KCC. Mm. Mm. So we told you get the results from mm. KCC. Mm. So and things have now shifted. you're seeing what's coming from KCC. All of a sudden, okay, what's happening? Mm. <laughs> the, the votes from Tarakaniti had mm. come. Mm. Anyway, mm. if you remember mm. the, that expression exactly. then. Yeah. yeah, it was a very tense. And then I still, it was a Saturday morning. Yeah. No, Friday. Yeah. And then so we worked Friday. Now just for reporting what ECK mm. is mm. giving. Mm. And then now Saturday is when the tension started. I remember the tension was so palpable. 
I, I was on night shift that day. That's I remember, uh, yes, I remember I was going to work at 4 p.m. I was starting, I used to add work odd shifts, yeah. 4 a.m., yeah. 4 p.m., right. just different times. That day I was actually starting, my shift was starting at 4 p.m. So I go yeah. to work in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Wow. The newsroom was tense. Mm. Tense from first floor till sixth floor. We used to be mm. on sixth floor. Mm. <laughs> that building, Nation you Center, was tense. Yeah. You could feel it. You mm. could feel the, 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 the anxiety that mm. people had. I mm. guess it was just the mood that was building up mm. across the country. Mm. So while we were there, I remember my, I was, I was staying in South B. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I was living alone, not with my family, just living alone. Mm. And I remember my landlord calling me and telling me, hey, mm. Sheila, I don't know where, uh, if you're not home, don't come home right now. Mm. There was a um, bit of some fracas, mm. yeah, mm. around, yeah, around South B. Mm. And I was like, oh my, that's when now, of course, now that's when the violence, you remember now 2007, mm. you saw it on a Saturday, mm. you know. Mm. By Sunday, mm. when now the results were being announced at uh, KICC and mm. was that late night swearing, mm. the late evening swearing mm. in, mm. things had gone south. Mm. In fact, I remember my landlord calling me again and saying, Sheila, I don't know how you're coming home. Mm. Uh, those days in Kwanga Route 11. Mm, mm. I don't know how you're coming home, mm. but don't come right now. Mm. Yeah, so and we just hung around the newsroom. So you stayed like almost literally a 24 hour shift? Because many of us were unable to go home. Yeah. And then um, Nation would only provide transport like later. Yeah. Like maybe for those people who are maybe finishing work. Yeah. In fact, I remember there are times I'd work, maybe if you'd work very late you know so maybe from 10 p.m yeah. you know so we just yeah. hung around waiting for the transport you know, yeah. from around 9 p.m 10 p.m yeah. you know because even now yeah we even gave up on announcing we're like what are we announcing like that that sunday i remember our editor told us i mean what are we announcing yeah we only announced now the part where the waiki baki was being sworn in yeah i remember at some point we were sent to kicc and it was chaotic it was chaotic. You see the ODM guys, you see the PNU guys, you know, mm. you know mm. yeah. yeah. It, it was it was tense all did over. You go? Yeah, we did. Mm. Yeah, we did. Mm. I went, I remember with we were with my editor mm. and even Julie Gishuru. Mm. She was working at NTV. Because mm. everyone was concerned what's mm. happening. Mm. And just walking across from Nation Center to KCC. Mm. Oh my. It was empty. The streets were empty. Mm. Everyone, the few people you're meeting, everyone is anxious, you know? Mm. And uh so that was a Sunday that yeah. the election results were, were called and yeah. announced. And, and, and uh, the swearing in happening. And the night. swearing in happening. And that is mm. when different parts of the country were just mm. hearing violence yeah. here, fire here, mm. gunshots here. Mm. You know, I remember my parents were still staying in Langata. So they was, were saying, hey, there are gunshots in Kibera. We could, we, they could hear them. Mm. You know, for me, my landlord has already told me, mm. don't come home right now. Mm. Wait, wait before. I'll tell you when you can come home. Mm. You know, mm. so I actually was getting home at 1 a.m. And it was, I think, one of my darkest days mm. because you could feel that tension. And then you still expected to go to work. You still expected to report what's happening. But you're really not in the mood to, you know, because uh, it also affected us psychologically as imagine. news, as, 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 um, as, 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 a, yeah, yeah, mm. as a news team. Mm. So we, we, we didn't, I think, because again, also media, I think there were some attempts by government. They called some, some of the media houses mm. and warned them about, you know, the inflammatory, I mean, they said some of the reports are, are, um, are, in, are, are, um, inflammatory, are inflammatory yeah. and, and causing reactions. Mm. So maybe if we could go slow on the reports on violence, mm. but that was also, that was the only thing that was it happening. Was what else were you news. reporting? There was nothing else happening. There was no business, you know, there are no other people doing conferences. People were just. I mean, there was just all these pockets of violence across the country. That's the only thing you could report. So if you can't report that, then let's not go to work. Mm. So our editor told us, you guys just stay home. Mm. I'll tell you when you can come back because what are we reporting? So we stayed home, but of course you're staying home. You can't move around, you know. It, it was so, mm. it, for me, it was a very frustrating point. Mm. And then finally we were called back to work. Mm. Um, but even I remember the first day I attempted to go back to work. Mm. After just how long? For it, it was maybe like two days okay yeah all right. mm -hmm. just trying to get now it was after now the new year mm. um because now we we had the new year so mm -hmm. new year mm -hmm. um 2008 now yeah not mm -hmm. 208 mm -hmm. and i remember my first bulletin was on the first day of new year now mm -hmm. and then of course you expected to greet uh, mm -hmm. kenyans mm -hmm. uh this is shila masinde mm -hmm. this is edfm news thank mm -hmm. you for listening happy new year and at some point after i said those words i told myself surely how can I be telling people Happy New Year? The first line in the next story after I greet them Happy New Year is about to you 10 people have died where? Who has been killed where? There's violence happening where? So what Happy New Year salutation are you giving people? You know, people are in, are in a dark place. And I, I really struggled. I really struggled just giving the news because it was just bad news after bad news, bad news after bad news. And then 
I remember around that time Kiamba happened. Mm -hmm. And actually when it happened, mm -hmm. when Kiamba happened and the news came mm -hmm. that there was this the church has been burnt in Eldoret. Mm -hmm. I was on the news I was on the news desk I was on duty it was an I remember it was a, was it a Wednesday or Tuesday afternoon mm. and um my uh, the editor for TV who was mm. Manuel Juma mm. uh, who was the head of news for T NTV comes mm. and tells me because I what what I was also in charge of was the breaking news mm. so uh, the uh, NBD National Broadcasting uh, mm. between NTV and Easy FM we had this uh, channel mm. 411 news we used to give mm. breaking news mm. so Anytime there was breaking news, we'd also, of course, apart from giving it on TV and radio, we'd also give it on SMS. Mm. So I was the one writing those SMSs, mm. like sending the breaking news. Mm. So there's the breaking news. Tens of people killed in, I'm told, that time I was told, tens of people killed in, in burnt down in a, in a church in Kiamba, mm. in, in Eldoret. Mm. So of course I, I write the news. I mean, I, I hear, okay, gives me the details. And then, of course, the moment I just sent it like this, oh my goodness, I get a call from high up. You know those days when you get a call from high up, who call? <laughs> that, was, uh, that is Ian. not, no, 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 no. That was the editorial director, Wangedi Mwangi, Wangedi Mwangi, and asked Whoa. me, where did you get that piece of news? Hey, I shook in my shoes. <laughs> Shake it in that your time boots. I'm looking, I'm looking around, looking, where are these bosses of mine? Yeah, There's no one. to my rescue. <laughs> Nothing. Of course, they came later, and you know, yeah. and, and so, um, you, you know, uh, tried to save the situation. Mm. But it was everything was sensitive. Everything in terms of reporting. Ev I mean, it was you're not sure. Do I report this? You know. What do you say? And what you can see it's happening. I mean, it's, it's been announced on TV. Mm. Other stations have picked it up. But then, because I guess they're also under a lot of pressure from you know from the internal security and, and others who are trying to control the situation the politics of a media house also nation mm. being nation yeah. itself also comes yeah. into play mm. at this time mm. you know on, on what side are you and mm. it's you are unsure mm. you know um how this is playing mm. out so it's mm. it, it, it's very very sensitive also um the editorial policy what what is it that you follow exactly at the time Exactly. And despite that, we had actually gone through a very regimented um, training, training on election reporting yeah. in 2007. Which was for Nation Media Group or just as gen media? First Nation training. Media Group mm -hmm. did took us through training for mm -hmm. everyone who was going to report on the elections, mm -hmm. especially a number of us were going to do it for the first time. Mm -hmm. We had gone through that, right. in food, including conflict, sensitivity, mm -hmm. all these things had been taken through. Mm -hmm. And then U.S. Embassy also had a program where they trained a number of journalists from different media houses mm -hmm. on, on uh, political journalists. Mm -hmm. Guys were going to be on the election bit mm -hmm. on coverage. So, But mm -hmm. despite that, that still mm -hmm. did not prepare us for what we were going to face. Yeah. This is a scenario. This was... Um, a wild card that you hadn't seen coming. I hadn't seen coming. Mm. So at that point, 2008, of course, now, yeah, we went through January. Mm. There was still a lot of tension. And then, of course, this talk started happening with, with uh, Kofi Annan, mm. the mediation. Mm. Um, Kriegler came in looking mm. at the, the, you know, the, the, the whole issue around the election mm. uh, management. Mm -hmm. The, then the Waki Commission looking mm. at the or, or looking into the post-election violence. Mm. So all these things now processes happening. Mm. And then of course now the then the the, the, the agreement, mm. the grand coalition mm. agreement, mm. that of course by March, mm. at the beginning of March, that mm. settled things. Mm. Mm. But in between that there'd been all this NGOs started releasing their reports on mm. the issues around human yeah. rights, yeah. around the preparedness and management mm. of the elections. Mm. So as I mentioned, that I'd, I'd really grown an interest in those governance, you know, governance stories. Mm -hmm. And so I would attend a lot of the press conferences. Mm. And then given my very bitter experience from covering the elections, mm. I told myself, Sheila, at the next election, do you really want to be here where you're reporting and, and you're in mm. no control over mm. what you're reporting? Mm. Or do you want to be on the other side where, where change, you're where you're making a difference? Mm. So it's actually at that point where I said, I'd actually like to work for one of these. Mm. I actually remember at that point, I, I, yeah, I remember one of the events I attended was uh, by Transparency International mm -hmm. Kenya where they were launching a report on campaign financing mm -hmm. and looking at you know the cost of mm -hmm. elections and how much had been spent by candidates mm -hmm. and I was very much interested in that mm -hmm. mm. but of course yeah mm -hmm. the jobs are not forthcoming then mm -hmm. but I was say that that's an area I would like to go mm -hmm. to at some point mm -hmm. but 2008 I made a decision that I was going to leave radio mm -hmm. I, I had been really damaged and mm -hmm. there had been very little psychosocial mm -hmm. support mm -hmm. I, mm. I started looking elsewhere, but mm. then before I could get a job outside, mm. another opportunity came from within Nation. Mm.